Hey guys, Mike here. So we're working at JS McCarthy Printers here today, pouring that $1.6 million paper machine pad, just like the thumbnail said. And I'll explain a little bit more about that later in the video. But this is what we're pouring right here. It's about 300 square feet. It's about 17 inches thick. It's gonna take about 17 yards. And the machine that's sitting on here weighs about 50,000 pounds. That's why they, they had to cut the floor out, make it a lot thicker. And those, those areas that are formed up are because some areas need to be lower than the other, just the way the paper machine sits on it. So we're using power buggies to pour this today to get it in here rather than pumping it because power buggies are just a little bit cleaner. You know, if we run pump hose in there, then when we take the hose apart, it's just a little bit messier. And this is a little bit less expensive too than pumping. So if it was, if it was a lot more yardage, we definitely would have pumped it. It would have been faster. But since it was only 17 yards, we decided just a couple power buggies would be enough. Now, if you've never seen a power buggy, these things hold probably between six and eight full-size wheelbarrows, so they hold quite a bit of concrete. And you can you can on a you know on a sub base like this on asphalt and concrete, you can fill them right up pretty good. They go pretty easily, and it makes pouring pretty quick actually, especially if you got two of them going. But that's basically how you fill them up, and then. They run kind of just almost like a four-wheeler would run. But I just want to give you a little idea of the path we had to take to get the concrete to that pad. It was inside the building here a little ways. And take a look at that those stacks of paper in, right there that you're looking at in the background. I'll talk a little bit more about those later, too. They, this place makes a ton of different types of, of paper for different places boxes and paper and um, in this day and age uh, with the internet you wouldn't think they'd be this busy but they're, they're crazy busy with what they do so this was the path we had to take to the pad the pads right up there by that guy with the black sweatshirt up to the left right there you just start to see it and that's how we uh, get the concrete into the building so we're just gonna we're just gonna dump the concrete in there Darren's gonna spread it around and you can see how that form goes all the way across that one section. That section is going to be at the bottom of the two bodies. So right now we're pouring even with the top of the concrete floor where Darren's standing. And then we get a mag that section lower. And then we come back up to the top of the concrete on this side over here to the right. So there's a couple different steps step downs in this pad which made it a little more difficult to pour especially with all those braces running across you'll see how we're, we're going to take those out and we're going to finish this pad and we didn't really get much of a break from pouring to finishing time it's set up pretty fast for us i didn't do the cutting here all we were hired to do was the pouring and the finishing we've done quite a few of these pads in this building over the years so they have another guy that comes in and cuts out the concrete. And all he does is just saw it. And then they hire an excavator to come in and take out all the broken concrete, the sawed up concrete, and, and dig down and do the excavation. And then the guy we're working for, that guy in the black sweatshirt, he's the one that did the forming and got the forms in place. So all I'm here to do today is just pour and finish the concrete. And as we got more and more concrete in here, you know, one of us would would stop and help Darren get it screeded or puddle it around, whatever we need to do to help Darren out. Because once they get, once he gets magging in those lower sections, that's going to slow him down quite a bit. You can see Luke's getting that magged out now. So he stopped the power buggy and just jumped back to help Darren. Now we we're all stopped and we're going to get this little part screeded. We're getting down towards the end now of the pour. We still got a lot of finishing to do. Most, I'd say 90 some odd percent of this pad is going to get covered with that paper machine. Look at all that paper in the background, how it's stacked up, getting ready to be printed on. They just, they do a ton of printing here. You can see how Luke's kind of magging that section at the, at the bottom of the two buys. Those sections all have 
something important to do with how that paper machine sits on this pad. So right after we got done pouring and bow floating, we just went back and, and magged everything out, you know, to get it looking nice, and then we could get the tools picked up and cleaned. And then we had to come right back in and start stripping the forms because the concrete was setting up. Underneath those braces, there's always a tiny little uh, gouge or lower area under the braces that you need to fill in. So we needed to stop pulling those braces as soon as we could and get all those areas kind of touched up. You can see how I, I needed to fill in that one. So I'm just using some of the top paste from the from the pad if uh, we, we got to make sure we match that concrete floor so if we we're a tiny bit higher I could scrape some down a little bit and just use that which worked out pretty good this was a 4,000 psi concrete so it had a lot of cement in it which means it had a lot of cream or paste on the surface and that really helped us out Plus, the timing of doing it, too, really helped. It was still just a little bit soft on top, so if I'd waited another half an hour, filling in all this stuff would have been a lot harder. So we're going to go from, from this pad right here, and we're immediately going to start removing those forms in, the, in that middle section. And those came out pretty hard. They were pretty, pretty tight in there, the way they were just formed up and, and set inside the pad so there's a little bit of a struggle getting those out so you can see how well using that cream and that paste work just to fill this up now remember this pad after the paper machine goes on top of it you're really not going to be able to see any of it so they just really needed a flat pad that was fairly smooth we just like to do a, you know, a good job finishing because that's just who we are. But you can see that piece in back where I am. We've already got the boards out of that. And they're, they're cutting out the pieces in here. That wouldn't come out in one piece. We tried. So we had to cut it, take it out in sections. Because the concrete's still pretty green. So we didn't want to tear up all those edges and have to fix all those. It was just firm enough to hold its shape. You can see all those grooves in there that Luke has to fill now. Or all of us really had to fill them, but Luke, as Luke's coming down with those knee boards, he's magging that piece out, getting it all nice and smooth in there. So we were quite busy for, you know, a little bit over an hour it took us to get all the forms out, get all this stuff filled back in, getting this looking real nice to where we could start just hand troweling it like what we're doing here. So we're going to go over it just by hand two or three times to get it nice and smooth. Now the machine going on this, like I said, it it comes from Switzerland and it's, it's very high tech and it prints out all kinds of different types of paper and, and boxes that they send to you know people in the cosmetic industry, people in the food industry, like at grocery stores, um, stuff you buy that has a box in it and has a lot of printing on the cover of it. it very well could have been made right here from these guys I'm going to show you in the end just a little bit of a couple things they print but this is this is how we finished it we, we just did it by hand we could reach out pretty much on most everything we had to use knee boards in that lower section but the concrete troweled out pretty nice because of all the cream it had in it from the 4000 PSI we got it we got it to look really nice and really smooth here by the time we get done but the machine that's going on this I'm going to show you here in a second right at the end of this clip I'm going to lift the video up it's it's the same one as that one right there in the back so and it it costs 1.6 million dollars that's just the cost of the machine that doesn't cost that doesn't add setting it up and everything either so that's what the $1.6 million machine pad was all about. And here's like one of those lower areas right here that sits down in one of... So the, the paper comes out of there. You can see how they load it. They load all that stack right in there. And then it gets printed with whatever they're going to print it with. 
and then on the other side it comes out in that other area and they can they can take it out so this is one thing they print and this this is part of the cosmetic industry so they'll just take that apart and make boxes out of it and here's another thing they print and this is for the food industry and they'll just you know break those apart fold it up into a box and then those get shipped out now the new machine is going to make the boxes all on its own so they don't have to do it by hand but this is the company we were working for js mccarthy printers guys so hey if you want to learn more about concrete and learn how to pour stamp and finish like we do then the concrete underground is the place to be that's my private training academy link is in the description below so you can check that out so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next one